Hi everyone, in the last video we talked a little bit about the general handling of the car. In this video I want to focus more on the springs and the shocks of the car. Uh, one thing though that I forgot to mention in the first video, it, I'll actually just show you. So if I hit play and I hit F10, I can actually move around and you can see that the tires of the car are going into the ground a little bit. And the reason for this is that we haven't actually specified uh, the radius of the tires. So if you bring up your, your front and back wheel, you can see that there's, uh, under, under the wheel, there's a bunch of properties, which I won't really get into, but the shape radius is uh, the main thing that we're looking at. So if you, if you find the blueprint of your car and you drag it into the world, you can actually go to the front view. And if you click and drag the middle mouse button, uh, you'll actually get uh, a measurement of, of the radius. So I'm getting 40 here, but you can see it's snapping to the grid. So it's a little bit less than 40. So I'm just going to call it 35. So I'll set 35 to be the radius for both the front and the back. And now if I go back here, I don't need this. Uh, if I hit play and I hit F10, now you can see if I go to the side, the, the car, the tires are not penetrating anymore. So it looks a lot better. So that's just something uh, I wanted to mention. Another thing is, uh, in between the, the tutorial videos, I just added this little ramp here. So this is uh, just a BSP box, which is 2,000 in the X, 500 in the Y, uh, and rotated 10 degrees. But we'll get to that in a little bit. So uh, the first thing I want to look at is the shocks. So to do this, I'm going to take the, the player start and set the Z to 500. So now if I hit play, you can see the car falls to the ground. And it doesn't really bounce or anything which is what I would expect from uh, a normal, regularly tuned car. But let's make this a little bit more exaggerated. If, if you go into the tires, under suspension, you can actually see there's this suspension max drop. The way this works is uh, it's, the, it's the distance that the tire can drop past the resting point. The resting point of the tire is just the skeleton position of, of the tire. So it, it might be easier to see if I just set this to something like 100 and for both the front and the back. Now if I hit play, you can see that the tires actually extend 100 centimeters below the, the resting position. Uh, so another thing you can see is that the, the car, the spring, it compresses quite gradually. But we can actually change this. So uh, if we go and look at the suspension damping ratio, this just gives you how much the spring is, is going to damp. So if I, if I make it a smaller value, like 0.5, then there'll be much less damping and you can see the car falls a bit faster. Um, similarly, if I, if I make this very big, now it compresses even more gradually. Um, the next, let, let's just set this back to one though. The next thing that I want to look at is the suspension max raise. So this is pretty much exactly the same as the max drop except in the opposite direction. So this is how far uh, up the tire can go past its resting point. So if we make this 100 and this 100, um, and we hit play. Now, actually, to really be able to see this, we need to reduce the damping rate. So let's set this back to 0 0.5. 5. So now, the problem now is that the, the body of the car is actually hitting the ground. So to fix that, I'm just going to bring up my physics asset of the car. And just for now, so that we can see this a little bit better, uh, I'm just gonna, I just hit W there. I'm just gonna bring up the, the body so that the car can drop a little bit more. So you can actually see the tires going through, through the mesh here. Um, so the, the other thing is you have this natural frequency which you can play with. So the higher the, the number, the sort of faster the spring's gonna oscillate. So if I make this 15, you can see it's it's much faster if I make it very low. Actually, just to see what happens, you, you can also play with you know the front and the back. They don't have to be the same. So if I make the front uh, very low and the and the back very high, you'll see some interesting effect. Yeah. So um, anyway, so that's that. You can play with all these values and and see what you like. I'm just gonna bring these all back now to the way they were. And uh, I've also I've also changed the all of these back to the, the default values just in case from the last video you still have some uh, strange setup. And let me actually reset this. So 
Uh, I'll pick box. Okay, so now we are back to our normal car key. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the moment of inertia. So, if I go off this ramp, you can see the car kind of tilts forward a little bit. Uh, and, you know, in a lot of racing games, you don't want that. You want to have a nice sort of arc. So, one way to fix that is to uh, bring up your car, go to defaults, and if you search for inertia, you can see this. So, we talked about this a little bit in the previous video, but just to recap, uh, this just represents how hard it is to rotate along each axis. So the y-axis, if you if you look at the component, uh, the z the sorry the x-axis is going forward, the z-axis is going up, and the y-axis is sort of uh, going this way. So what would be nice is if we made it hard for the car to rotate this way, uh, it would make it would make it uh, give us like a nicer arc. So if we set this to something like five, and now we start. Now, if I go off this ramp, you can see the car rotates a little bit differently. I mean, you, you can also see the, the side effect, which is that when it tilts forward, it then takes longer for it to tilt backwards. So you obviously want to play around with these settings, but um, it's, it's still very powerful and will allow you to get any sort of effect that you're, you're going for. So that's it for shocks and springs, and uh, I think this actually will wrap up these car videos for now. If you have any more questions, uh, please let me know. I can I can cover lots of this stuff in depth. Uh, so yeah, hope hope that answered some of your questions. Uh, take care. Bye.